Today, we're examining the states where citizens are the most proud of their native state, good or bad, these folks adore it. To be clear, this video is my perspective. Today we're going to list the states where those inhabitants are most proud. That sounded a little bit like a statewide pep rally, didn't it? Well, this video is about the states with the most pride. Let's take a look at Number 10 Georgia First I formed this opinion from reading comments, knowing people from these states, my experience, and asking my subscribers on a few different polls. One thing I've always found interesting about people who were born and raised in Atlanta is that they'll always tell you what hospital they were born at if they say something like they're a Grady baby or North Side baby that's what they're talking about kind of tells you what part of the city they were born in and that they are born and bred in Atlanta and you talk to someone from Atlanta they always have a list of things that are great about Atlanta and I mean they bypass the negative things. About Atlanta, when I conducted the survey on the community tab, only 2% of respondents indicated that they believed Georgians to be the most proud, with New Jersey coming in at number 9. Those seasons include summer and Christmas. These people adore that state, and this is another place where you talk to someone from New Jersey and it seems like they know it stinks, but it's kind of a suckage they kind of like I know that's hard to explain now don't get me wrong New Jersey has some wonderful places, I mean their urban areas are amazing their cities, and most of the time they're kind of trashy. But if you talk to someone from New Jersey they make it sound like it's your fault, because you people from New Jersey always take pride in Bruce Springsteen, but not many of them do so for The Sopranos. When the Jersey Shore was popular on television, they did the same thing, saying things like, I don't want to even hear about Snooky, but 8% of those polled in the community believe it wasn't very scientific because I asked two different questions with five responses on each, but 8%. The 8th Indiana. You know, this one is a little odd. They like their state and always mention that it's a great place to be from and to be raised, but it always goes around to the people they knew the people from the state and it's really not the state and the land itself because the land is mostly farmland. For example, you have Indianapolis and South Bend, about which we've been talking. They don't appear to care about South Bend or Gary, and I believe the majority of Indiana residents would be content to give South Bend to Michigan and Gary to Illinois. What Gary, Indiana addition to being near to Southside Chicago, which is arguably the worst neighborhood in the country, Indiana is likely the worst place in Indiana. About 9,000 individuals have responded as of the time I'm writing this, or 5% of those on the poll, who stated they thought Indiana had residents who took the most pride in the state, just so you know it was two distinct things. The 7th North Carolina the people of West Virginia have probably one of the most beautiful states in the country, though I'm sure some people could argue of New England or even Colorado or other things of that nature. If you go to West Virginia and you get outside the city, you'll see that they have a lot of problems, but they take pride in the people and the state. They will bring up how beautiful the state is. I think many of you will be surprised by that because West Virginia doesn't have a good reputation these days. I've discussed it many times before. They have serious poverty issues with the coal industry declining, and of course, they were one of the worst states hit by the opioid crisis, which resulted in all kinds of other crimes and everything else like that. However, they are rebuilding and these people love their state, and if you ask most of them, they would tell you that they are proud of it. The 6th Wyoming Wyoming is an odd state. Since many people believe Wyoming is false, they are unaware that it actually exists. However, I can guarantee you that Wyoming is real and gorgeous. Wyoming has a lot of gorgeous, open plains territory, and because of all the big skies, it is known as Big Sky Country. I kid you not, Wyoming is also known as the Cowboy State or the Equality State. It's true that Montana is renowned as Big Sky Country. This is where you should acknowledge who posted the comment. Montana and Wyoming Wyoming is beautiful and the people there are a strange bunch. They really embrace the cowboy western heritage and lifestyle and you can find it everywhere there. These people aren't acting, they actually live this way, which is kind of nice. 
I always lump them together into the same type of state, though they're different. Compared to most other states in this country, it is simpler and more grounded. People from both Montana and Wyoming, including those I know personally and those I've met through Matt, seem to have this mindset that there is no BS. It's odd, in particular if you're from places like California and New York where everything is, especially California where everything is kind of like, uh, you might just kind of be wishy-washy about something that not only 4% of you believed Wyoming people had the most pride. Number 5 Kentucky That's correct the bluegrass state enters at number 5. If you talk to these people for a while, they'll brag about how great Kentucky is. They'll talk to you about the drinking they do and the horse racing they watch. They're also eager to talk to you for hours about college basketball. They take pride in all that, the Kentucky Derby, the basketball, and the few teeth the majority of them have. I mean, every time I've ever spoken to someone from Kentucky and they go on and on about what a wonderful state it is, they make some good points, but I'm just like, yeah, I don't get it. 9% of respondents to the survey claimed that Kentucky has the most proud citizens. New York is ranked fourth. This one should be obvious if you've ever met anyone from New York, good or bad, they'll always explain it in the same way, and that goes for the entire state, not just New York City. They'll say things like, if you're from New York City, you wake up every morning to a beer, a back rub, and a check for a thousand dollars it's like Nirvana on the one poll that said New York. According to 52% of respondents, New Yorkers are the most proud. The third Colorado. The Centennial State comes in at number 3, but you guys didn't see it that way I did. Only 4% of people think Colorado residents have the most pride, which I find odd because if you read the comments on any of my videos that mention Colorado, they are all filled with people praising the state while also advising you not to move there because it's full. I don't know why, but people seem to think that Colorado is the number one state for that. Second place Tennessee. The volunteer state is ranked second. If you speak to any Tennesseans, they'll tell you how wonderful their state is and, if they're being honest, most of them will admit that Memphis is a nightmare, but they'll tell you that the rest of the state is wonderful. They have a lot to be proud of, especially their history, but even they acknowledge that Memphis is not something to be proud of. First place Texas. Anyone who has ever interacted with Texans knows how passionate they are about their home state and they won't hesitate to let you know it. In fact, they'll slip it into any discussion you have when you enter a subway. They're all BMT on wheat, which is fantastic. Did you know that Dr. Pepper is created in Waco? I'd also want a large Dr. Pepper. Texas isn't that great. Just like Texas y'all, Texas is another of those states where that is the first thing people will say in the comment section, don't move to Texas, we're full y'all, and I mean they're so into their state, they think they could do without the rest of the United States, they always want to break away, at least they have some people talking about breaking away, it's one of those things that won't ever happen, sort of like those Jack Loans, we got you Idaho, doesn't even want them, but... It always comes up in conversations with someone from Texas about how they just want to secede from the United States and become their own country, then they mention that they once were, but yes, Texas is a great state with a lot going for it. However, it can get a little too hot and desert-like for my taste. Yes, I know you have some hill country and I know you have down there. Other than that, Texas has a lot of amazing stuff, which is probably why people are moving there so frequently at the moment. 87% of respondents claim to be most proud of their state. Right, that concludes today's movie. We sincerely hope you enjoyed it and learned something from it. Now, go out and enjoy your day. 
Be kind to one another and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.